So this right here is a new video I'm going to do real quick for one of my clients and show them how to embed uh, their Facebook live videos that they do for their sermons. So this is a Beacon Light Community Church. What I'm going to do is, okay, if we have Beacon Light CC pulled up, first thing you can do, I'll give you a username, uh, like I'll give you a user account and a password so you can do this on your own. But what you'll need to do is go to wp-login.php to log in. You'll be able to log in right here. So let's go to the post page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new post. So we'll hit add post. I want to, we should keep that naming like um, the naming convention like type the same way or whatever. So this was February 23rd. What is it? It's 2020. Then we're going to need to go here. What we are going to do is we're going to do custom HTML. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we center what we got going, what we're going to add here. So I'm going to add to that spot right there. So what we got to do is we got to go to the Beacon Light, you know, Facebook page or whatever, and we're going to add the one that we want to add. This is the February 23rd one is the one that we're going to add here. So what we do is click up here in the upper right hand corner and we are going to embed. So if we go to embed, let's see, let's see what we got going here. Let's go to embedded videos right here in the left-hand navigation. So we're on embedded videos. And we need that a URL that looks just like that. So what are we going to do here? Free program. Matt, if I... Uh, it was very uh, beneficial for... There we go. I'm into it now. Go like this. Gonna add it. See that it's added there. Then we're gonna hit get code. And we want the iframe code. That's gonna be a lot easier. So this is the code that we need. So we grab this code, hit control C or command C, whatever you're doing, to copy it. So I've copied it real quick. You can also right click on it and copy it if you would like. Um, so let's go back into here. Let's just add it. Let's see if that's going to do good. Um, one of the things that we're going to need to do is this right here though too. We should really add a meta description. All right, let's just go ahead and publish this right now and see what happens. So we published it or whatever, so we can like, what we can do is just view the post and see like how it turned out. Okay, so so far. And I'll hold your hands unto him. Given, eunuch said, she here is water. What? Yeah, so I would definitely say that right now we've got to add it correctly. Like, one of the things I want to do is, you know, the naming convention, like, you know, I could do a little bit better on this. So if I click back up into it or whatever, so we're in the post, and then we can go to edit post. So this right here, we're going to want to look back at it. What was it going to do to it? Oh, no, I was going to add... One of the things I did want to do too, though, was this right here was. That's all. Hasn't it been? Now, Stoney Stephen and Let. Let's see if I can get a better screenshot here. Just 
So normally what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a screenshot and I'm going to resize it. I understand that like not everybody has like the, the capabilities of what I'm doing right now, but even there, that's not even that bad. So I just try to I try to save everything like as small as possible, really. So let's go fab. One thing that I do want to do here is I want to go back into here and I want to add, see like a, what I want to show you here is, if you look at it right now when we go to the services, as you can see these services right here like all have like a thumbnail so like you've got some sort of like a look to it or whatever like now this one doesn't have that. I mean it's not that big of a deal really, you know, but it's just if, if you do want to make it look you know a little bit tighter make it look better like what I'm doing right now this is all we have to do is all we have to do is grab an image and add it as the featured image on this post so as you can see like right here like within the like right within the side navigation like under document there's one that is called featured image so we can add a featured image right here I'm going to upload the file that I just saved. Now let's see if we jump back into the services. What do we got here? I do wonder one other thing. You know, one other thing. Let's look at how like this one looks right here. If I go into edit this post. Oh, okay. I see I got it. I got it different there. What I was wondering was, oh yeah. Come on, stuck here, what happened? Let's grab this little bit of wording here. And I'm going to add something right here. Let's add, let's just add the paragraph. And I'm going to go update. And then I'm going to view post. Oh, one thing like this, like right here, like this is that featured image that we had added. And I don't mind the way that it looks if it is up there, but I do feel like it's a little bit confusing because then someone could click on it. And that's not really what you want. But let's change that one thing about it. Although we do want a featured image there so it can be used on those services page. Like here, like actually on the page, we are going to want to disable that. So here you go down here to the bottom, like within layout, you have disable elements. And then we want to disable the featured image right here. So we're going to update that. So there, it looks good. As you can see, we have the plays. Him Everything the is good about it. I probably would do this one last thing to it, actually, like just for, just to keep it as consistent as I could. I see that in the other ones that I had capitalized that. And this is the AMP site. Like what it is showing is like that the AMP, um, like we've got a AMP validation error that here, it's pretty easy to fix. Not that it's really all that necessary, but all you have to do is come in here and confirm that some that whatever it was was being removed.
but that's it like as you can see the new one is up everything's working if we hit back into the services page we can see that it looks good just like all the other ones and that's all that we needed so then I'm gonna log out and we are good here thank you